Kia ora team, George here from Touch NZ. Now we all enjoy a bit of touch, but without a proper warm up, the chance of being injured are massively increased. So to keep you on the field and out of the emergency room, Touch NZ have made a short and easy warm up series for all levels. Proven to lower the chance of injury by close to 50%. So head on over to our site and check them out. Play safe, play smart. Kia te whānau, whānui, me ngā nau mai hare mai ki tēnei papahotanga, ka mihi ki ngā maunga, ngā wai me ngā ahi kā o tēnei rohi, tēnā koutou katoa. Ki ngā kaiwhakahaere, ngā kaitautoko me ngā kaiwhakataitai, he mihi mahana hoki ki a koutou. To everyone who's tuned in to day one of the PTLs, here in what I would love to say is the sunny Bucklands Beach, unfortunately it is not, a big massive welcome and good morning. Joining me in the commentary box for the weekend is none only than the Dr. Shane Edwards. Shane, good morning, mate. How is it? Morena mai, tēnā hoki anō tātou e te iwi, nau mai, hara mai ki tō tātou nei whakapāhoi, tēnei rangi, ana e anō rā mā o kotaku hoa mai a mihi kauana ki a koutou, nau mai, hara mai, whakatau mai rā. Maya, one of Hauraki's finest, great to be with you this morning. You are correct. It's a little bit wet here, but we're good for all conditions. In the city of Auckland, we get all conditions in one day, and it's no different. However, the grounds are nice and firm for some great touch. I've been out on the field, Maya. We have got a sand base with Kakuya top. And so there will be a little bounce in the ball. So we'll be wanting to put that ball strongly on the ground so we don't get any bobbles. <laughs> yep, you wouldn't have seen the first game as this is our first of our live stream game final. But we've just had the first round of day one. It was played in our women's section. This first of our live stream games is in the male section. Uh, the first two teams in this game will be our Northern Strikers up against the Central Stingrays. Now, just looking at the names in this team of the Central Stingrays, uh, Shane, it looks like it's very central, central to Aotearoa, where the names come from. So uh, a really hot game to start us with. What's not, what's not, what is also cool about this being the best of the best in the country is the best coaches come to, to make sure that they're here in this tournament as well, Shane. So uh, uh, no doubt what we've just seen this morning between the women's grade, a great game. We'll see some more of that in this one. Yeah, definitely, Maya. We've got some great coaches coaching the Central Stingrays. We've got Mr. Sean Brown and Eugene Heppy, long-time contributors to our game. Many international caps bringing it together. We've got two current New Zealand Masters coaches in Mr. Joel Foster and Luke Chapman. Luke Chapman, one of Tūrangi's finest. We've got two minutes to go before we take this game. Playing for Central Stingrays today, number one, Bailey Natai Krub. Number two, Quincy Matangi. Number three, Shaunty Edwardson. Number five, Ben Anderson, six, Sunny Tewehi, number seven, Hamiora Tamati, Ash Bartlett at number eight, Oliver Wynan, number nine, Jalen Governor, number ten, Jimmy Taylor, eleven, Reese Brosnan at twelve, Tamator Opati at thirteen, Henry Anderson at fourteen, Mr. Gary Riley is making a star appearance, he'll be number fifteen, Hoyata Maxwell Blake, otherwise known as Hops, will be there in eighteen, and Naho Tepa makes up the full Central Stingrays team. Who's running out for Northern Strong? Well, the best thing about the, uh, the competitions like this is normally in the Nationals we're saying watch out for this player. Well, when you're at a tournament like this, which is like the Super Rugby of touch, they're all superstars. But you can't go past, for me, the MVP of the Open Nationals and Maddie Sinclair coming out in the number one. Obviously, we've got the De Urban Burgess, uh, Flavel, Turner, going all the way down to uh, Wania, Carter, Hutchinson, obviously. So, um... I wouldn't say this is a rematch of the final, but I'd love to see how this Northern Strikers, which is heavily impacted by the champions this year, the county's Monaco Black team, I'd uh, love to see how they start this tournament. And it's a warm welcome to the Pahuta uh, Coast Touch Rugby module and the home of Maraitai Rugby in Beachlands, East Auckland. We are off this morning.
man we're talking about, Maddie Sinclair, straight into the middle. Well, this is the first of our live stream games on day one of the P PTLs. Sinclair with the ball. He's in, he's at that link. Who's that? Number 16 for our Northern Strikers, Maddie Hutchison. Yeah, Maddie Hutchison, one of the key players we talked about uh, just in the lead up to this game, as we see here. Maddie just throwing the ball back. Devin Burgess understanding that Hutchison was in space. Great first touchdown, just like game one, even though we didn't get to see it on the live stream. First set ended up in a touchdown shape. So important that at wing and link we get we hit our line and get back up off our line. We've got to lift high, make sure that we're not running across our try line in defence. Okay, as we now have our central stingrays attacking, they go short side, go to 32 ruck, real roll on the seven. Here we go, go short side, running short side, not touch, play through, knock back. Excellent effort to recover the ball. We'll go back to one. That ball will go back to our central stingrays who are still hot on attack. 1-0 to the Northern Strikers. We didn't mention the referee, Shane, for this game. We currently see on field Quinn Murphy, and he's ably assisted by John Dusto, number one referee in New Zealand, and Ben McLaughlin. What's the ref called here? It's called a touch. Come back out again. Central stingrays. They go 32 for a drive. They bring it around on a 33 peel or an ML. And nice D on the short side. Unfortunately, the conditions have had a really big impact on the first two games we've seen, Shane. Not the, I guess, the speed and intensity. Both teams obviously needing to be a lot more ball control is a, is a key aspect in winning the game today. So that just taking a little bit of that intensity and creativity we normally see by the people at this level. Yeah, they've got to carry the ball in two hands, get a good feel for the game, put down strong, even lead in with the shoulder and the, to affect the touch rather than reaching out with the hand. You're going to have to get your hands right underneath the ball and spread your fingers so there's no drop in the ball. We're going in here. What's that? Is it down? Sh just dropped. Created a 3-2 on the short side. As the central stingrays bring it off. And there's an error. I'm Unfortunate error. And we're going to pass back now to the northern strikers. Hot on attack. Yeah, I'm sure Shaq Stone will want to make sure they're a little bit more accurate in this area. Didn't seem to be too much wrong with the pass. Maybe just the dew on the ball, but here they are again. So go back to the live action. Penalty there, and the ball will be handed back to the Central Stingrays. No damage done, and they'll look to come off their line again. Really excites me seeing the combinations of players you don't normally get to see at the national tournaments. Shane, obviously, because they're not playing for their provinces, it's their regions, and I'm not sure how it works. You probably know better than I with regards to players out of region and how it is they can play for these teams. Yeah, sure, my, um, uh, you can you can jump into a draft because they're franchises, they can choose from wherever they'd really like to, as um, long as they're, they're identified as talent of the present or the future. And so you see a lot of players jumping across to other to other provinces or other other franchises rather out of their normal province great opportunity to play with other guys and get another uniform is there a number of uh, players you can draft in can your whole team be full of drafts uh, you can as a franchise you get a list of players that live within your region or identified within your region and you can choose from them but you can go outside if players are unavailable again we just see we, we didn't really see much of this stuff in the opens but the conditions obviously underground sorry underfoot conditions a little bit slippery players not finding themselves in the right part we just go back to your comment about as long as they're emerging talent or talent of the present nice drive here though six touch six touch we've got to get that count the purpose of the ptls is to provide high performance environment for our elite players to prepare them for international play we can definitely see our competition like that would do it it's been running since 2019 there was a break during COVID, unfortunately. There was a break for everything. There's been a change in franchises over the years, starting from the original Manuko Raiders to Waiponamu, Northern Strikers and Metro, and now we have the teams we have now. So great concept, great to see the evolution and where we're at now. Great pathway for our players. There's Central Strikers, Central Stingray, sorry, bring it off their line. They'll go, they'll go box heavy here. 
Let's see if they're making the touch with the left hand drop in on the right. The Stingrays have the advantage. They'll be able to play the ball with their strong hand, the right hand, and affect the touch with the left. So they'll enjoy this box for this half. In the second half, they'll put it on their weak hand. And we've got another error there, and so a nice turnover on halfway. An opportunity here for Northern Strikers to get out of the house. Error rate a little bit high from our young men today, and coaches will be probably trying to ask them to, to get control of that ball. See some activity in the background of your picture there. There's two fields playing. There are five teams in each grade, just two grades. The women's open and men's open. As you see a sweet play around the back, Chansey. Tries to go under. Good touch made, though. Referee, nice clear instructions there as they run a sweep here. They run a 33 sweep. Delivers. Looking for a dive underneath. Touched on the leg on the way going through. Maya, you'd know as a referee, if I miss with my hand, but your body touches my body as you're going through, does that count as a touch? Yeah, that counts as a touch, but I think the ref called... Uh, uncontrolled ball there as Matty Stockman goes down the short side good defence though from the Stingray side after the shock first touchdown in that first set Stingray's now boxing off they've been caught in the middle on two touches they'll be wanting to get to the sideline get some fresh on there's the mismatch fresh first tired not sure if you had an opportunity to see much of the open men's uh, games at the National Shame but one thing that really impressed me about the county's Monaco team who have a, a big footprint in this uh, Northern Strikers team was just through that transition area. They were 100 miles an hour, incredibly accurate, um, and just really set up good momentum going into this attacking end of the field. Yeah, they look good. Unfortunately, Maya, I was in Australia watching the Australian Nationals. Got a good look at the Australian women's players, the Australian men's players, and then had to cast my eye over the, over the mixed players. And the message for New Zealand is run fast. What took you over there? Obviously, that's what you've seen over there. What was your purpose in going there, Shane? I like to win, Maya. I wanted to get a look at what Australia are running, how good they're going to be, what's their new innovations in the game, um, what are some of the stuff they're running, uh, who are their key players, uh, what's the referee interpretations looking like, um, right down to what balls they're playing with now. And they've gone to an Inferno ball, and that'll be the one used at the World Cup. Referees give penalties, and then they walk straight off the field. Whereas in New Zealand, we give a penalty like we see there, and the referee stays on the field. Different refereeing in Australia. And also, they allow you to run around the ruck in Australia, which we don't in New Zealand. We blow a penalty. So just these interpretations that'll be, that'll be important moving forward in the evolution of the game with the, with the heavy influence Australia has on our game. And so what capacity did you go over there with Shane? Obviously... Any random Joe Bloggs is not going to go over and watch for those particular reasons without a particular reason for doing it. Yeah, I was over there helping coach the Hornets for a little while, my, while my, and to be honest, I was spying. <laughs> so you have some role within Touch New Zealand, Shane, is where I'm getting to. <laughs> oh. Just love the game, Maya. As we see the Northern Strikers driving well down the line, they're not going to catch him. Got him on a cheeky, good ruck to the box. Caught them offside and went the length of the field. Yeah, Daniel Dioban Burgess, one of the three brothers in the team. Here they go, they take it to the box, they bring a sweep around. Turning it back on D, didn't know where we were, and away he went. What a good opportunity the young man's taken. So important to retreat facing the game. Yeah, odd there from Jimmy Taylor, just turned us back. Sure, he won't do that again. Great now seeing Ash Bartlett, fantastic men's player. 2 0 now to the Northern Strikers as the Stingrays attack the line. They run a 32, a 33, they bring the sweep around. And they'll bring it back out to the 7 21 ruck. We throw back middle, middle. What have we got here? Going 32 platform left side, picks up looking. And steps off the line. Well done. Great defense by Jalen, uh, by number 10 there. Mr. Toby Snellgrove stepping off the line, shutting down time and space. Really surprising from this Central Stingrays team. When you look at the individuals and the attacking prowess they have back at club and back at their provinces, surprised they haven't put this Northern Strikers team under a little bit more pressure. But now, Matty Sinclair. Nice pass passive. about the back. Did he get it down? He sure did. Winger wasn't claiming the touch. And it's touchdown. Lovely passive out the back by the Northern Strikers. Pulls the link, pulls the middle in, the link in. Winger on the dive. Just manages to get outside. 
Yeah, I really like what Sinclair did there. It almost like he fumbled the ball in the pickup, which made him take a little bit more time. Originally, it looked like he was going to go short, but he went out the back to the passive player. So, smart man, Sinclair. Here we go. Stingrays now. Real important on that passive if we can get our link high to slam that. Our winger, sorry, to slam that. Nice short ball. Great defence by our winger. Up tight and up high. Again, though, Shane, you don't really see northern the northern strikers under that much pressure on this uh, defensive scoreline. They feel they look real comfortable at the moment, Meyer. And I imagine that Shaq would have not had any opportunity to play with these guys other than a few of them in New Zealand. So they've only had really had a couple of weeks since the Open Nationals to create combinations. But when you're this talented, I'm sure it's it's pretty easy. Yeah, if they're communicating with each with each other, Maya, they can soon get connects. As they come round, strikers running at good pace now, taking the outside. Some nice speed on there by our northern strikers. We're going to need that when we head to the World Cup, and this is good, good pace. That Turner just really impressive, physical specimen. You'd be glad you're playing touch when you see him running down your lane and not having to tackle him. Unfortunately for the Stingrays, we've got another error in their half. They'll be looking to reduce their error rate. Strikers now on attack. Ran the chicken there, ran the chicken. Faked the rooster, ran the chicken. Big questions in the game at the moment, whether the chicken is a legal play rather than a block play. I guess technically with the laws the way it is, they're not obstructing anyone, even though they are in front, but I'm sure with the way our game's going, we'll oh, get oh, bat oh. on! Did he get it down? Great recovery. Great recovery from our wingers. Nope. Well done. He actually didn't get him, and that's real oh. good honesty there. Good honesty. He did so well to make a great attempt on the recovery. His footwork. Great step by Ash Bartlett there. Great honesty there by Ray Hunter, even at the tippity top of the game. This tournament is 3-1. Northern Strikers as they're on the attack here. 